monster truck time. This is awesome. Now we just gotta get the uh, five part har four point harnesses on. That's right. <laughs> your intake flap it's like oh yeah because it's sucking air right yeah that's the intake yeah all right we got the rzr 1000 turbo four-seater polaris quentin quentin behind the wheel of this monster yep where are we we are on uh well we're off to large road now we're on the uh, myra bellevue recreation area strapped in we're going to do a run with a nice view in the fall of the Okanagan. All right, let's rock and roll. Right. You ready? Here we are. Go. Oh, yeah. This thing is so awesome, everybody. Just soaks up the rocks. Running around 15 PSI in the huge tires. Got to watch for people. Yeah, watch for oncoming pedestrians. <laughs> yeah, we got the nice fall with the leaves falling. Perfect day today. Yeah, beautiful. Woo! Smack the tree. <laughs> Whip the trail with the back end. Yeah, we got the spare tire back there. Yep. Oh yeah, this has got to be on everyone's bucket list too. Oh, everybody needs to own one of these things. <laughs> this is uh, a lot of fun for sure. Look at all the huge rocks. Almost like they're not even there. It's super smooth. It's super smooth. When you're accelerating, the, the front end comes up like a boat. And when yeah, you're like on the brakes, the, and, then the, and then the front end dives on the brakes too. It's, it's, you know, you're controlling the chassis. It's quite interesting. Because I got the front suspension really soft and the rear really hard. Oh, yes, yeah. So that's why I got so much. The front end moves a lot. Yeah. yeah, and I have the back end slightly lower than the front when it's on stop, right? So it's kind of like Baja sort of setup. Oh yeah, that's right. They always do that on the Bajas. Yeah. I mean, you're trying to get more traction in the front, so less, less understeer. You want the front end to like to follow the road. Plus, it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally against what they say how you should set it up or for these machines, but I don't care. That's all I like it. Oh, big bump. Oh, super smooth, guys. In your car, you just pray and you push into the floorboard. <laughs> what kind of tires you got going? Uh, these are STI Outback Max, which are kind of a mud tire, not really for this, but yeah, yeah, but big lugs, big lugs. Big, big lugs, yeah. Really hard on the lugs. <laughs> they get really hot. Oh, yeah, that's right. They start to, you can start to melt them a bit. Yeah, they just start to dis disappear. Oh, we got some rain. Yeah. Holy shit. My favorite would be the STI rock tanes for this kind of terrain. Oh, yeah, yeah, something, wow. Yeah. Well, for all those guys and their Jeeps and their 4x4 four four, uh, sidekicks or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is uh, that territory they like. They like it. They're slow crawling, right?
Oh yeah, this would be a, impossible on my dirt bike. Oh. It'd be so tough on the dirt bike. Yeah, yeah, it'd just be like all over the rocks. Last time I was up here, there's like 10, 10 like uh, dual sport, like the big adventure bikes. Oh coming yeah. Up here. They're all like going together. Yeah. The one guy, his license plate fell right off. Yeah, that's what happens. You lose your plates. <laughs> yeah, just the screws come loose, right? Oh, beautiful sun out. We're probably at like 6,000 feet right now, or? I don't know, I don't sure. think that high. No, 5,000 still? Yeah. What, uh, what's the year of this RZR? 2017. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Have they RZR changed at all? Is there a new 2020 model? or? The, the 2019 is actually pretty impressive. They got the new oh. 2019 Dynamic X or S. Oh, it's yeah. Got tw 24 inches of suspension travel. And this one's and 18. Got, and it's got dynamic uh, auto, 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 um, auto suspension. So it's, oh, uh, yeah, 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 like the street bikes, like the initially, like the BMWs now, or the HP4 well, back in the day. Well, this it from hard to soft, like on its own. So it actually adjusts the dampening as you're riding. Yeah, on yeah, the fly. for sure. Yeah, when it hits a big rock, it does it in uh, hundred mil thousands of a second, it softens it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And if you come all the way off the ground, it goes to full hard to absorb. And then when you're on the bumpy stuff, it goes soft, right? So it yeah. automatically does it. It's all four corners independently. Well, you got to wonder what the racers would do, though. I bet the racers are still just using their Olins, their Nitrin, whatever. Their yeah, most likely, right? It's just, it's the newest thing, right? And plus, the 24 inches of travel is impressive. Yeah. But it's basically the same motor, but a bigger, stiffer chassis. And then with the new Fox, uh, Fox shocks, which are cool. The oh, dynamic. look. Holy shit, this is pretty deep right here. So this Sometimes I forget about it. Yeah, so you said this one is 18 inches travel? Uh, yeah, 18, yeah. 18, yeah. And ground clearance was around a foot, and, a foot and a half? 16 and a half inches, I believe. Okay. And I've raised it up a little bit. I'm probably like 17-ish. And you raised and it with pre, you raised it with preload with or preload, actual? Yeah, with preload. Okay. Yeah. I may. I am thinking about putting a three-inch lift in it, though. Oh yeah, that's right. As long as you're not too top-heavy. Okay. Where are we now? KVR bypass trail. Well, my old machine. You went in that one. It had a three-inch lift. You didn't notice it. Oh yeah, I didn't really notice. No. It just gives that just a few extra inches of ground clearance on the rocks. Yeah. So you're gonna like forget about these rocks. Just go over the center. Yeah. Wow, this is a cool little trail right here. Yeah, and then we're gonna I like up the on little up the whip de doos. <laughs> Just got. There's gonna be some other quads or side by sides out here, maybe. Uh, probably more like jeeps and trucks and. I don't really see too many other side by sides usually though. Oh yeah, just wide enough for uh, the jeep here. Yeah, just. They're gonna scrape along. This is a good dirt bike section right here. Not a lot, you know, it's much less yeah. rocky. All right, so this is always fun. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, should I get out for this one? <laughs> no, we're okay. Literally like, I'm gonna fall in the water first. <laughs> on the way back, I'll make you get out because I can't see on the way back. Oh yeah. I can't see how much wheel we got on the side, but just enough. They got the wide I've ass wheel. I actually seen like a little, um, like a little uh, uh, SUV go across there. Oh, I yeah. couldn't believe it. I was like, really? Yeah, like the Jeep going across there. That's got to be. How much does this thing weigh? This thing only weighs like 1,800 pounds. Where a oh, Jeep's yeah. gonna weigh like double that, right? More than double yeah. that. Yeah, you'd be worried that bridge couldn't take the support. That's what I'd be worried about, especially right on the edge of the boards, you know. Yeah. And uh, 
roll cage in this thing. It's shortened up. You got a custom shorter roll bar. Yeah, yeah. Baja design roll bar. Um, or Baja style, I should say. Yeah. The, uh, the company that makes it is called Cage Works. See, your other one, you know, you're going to have to worry about things more. And plus, it looks cool. All kind of sleek back, right? Yeah. And it's stronger. You got the extra bracing. It's not bolted together, it's welded together. Oh, yeah. The other one doesn't have a crossbar here. No. All right, guys, you hear that? We're way safer right now. This That's thing could roll a high speed, and we'd be like, the guy in a Formula One car just going tossing around. Yeah, we'd be Have you safe. seen that, by the way, in Formula One now? Yeah, now, the new Halos? Yeah, the, the bar in front? Yeah, the halo that they have, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. Obviously, we all understand that, you know, sometimes a wheel or a car is going to come right up in your face. Yeah. You just know, when they get on one, one guy's on top of the other guy. Yeah. But uh, it's definitely uh, interesting. I'd love to drive one of those. That'd be pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, that would definitely be wild. Yeah. Now we're on a real tight little road here. Yeah, we're on a little enough. trail. We're kind of cutting across. We're doing a little shortcut here. Remember, guys, we're always hunting at the same time. Yeah, I doubt we're going to find anything with this machine, but... <laughs> you scared And by away. the time we came up on it, by the time I got my gun out, it would be impossible. Oh, yeah, that's right. It would take us forever to get out. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's and awesome And then get the right gun there. out of the case and load it. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'd have to just stare at him for a while. Oh, yeah. Even All with a right, muley, no south problem. East. There we go, some high speed rally now. Yeah. 104 kilometers into the corner. Gets it sideways. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. Oh shit, the front end wanted to go there. <laughs> as long as we don't end up in the flop. Yeah, they'll be fine on the little uh, creek there. <laughs> Upside down in the water would be the worst case. Yeah, that would suck. I wouldn't be able to get out of the seatbelt. I'd be like, shit. <laughs> oh, this thing just handles like a dream. It's just a great rally car, everybody. I just wish I knew there was no people coming. Oh, yeah. You get somebody else driving like me coming on. That'd be oh, bad. Yeah. Then, then you're going to turn into the, slu into oh, the water. Oh, that would be terrible. Oh, shit, dude. Tightening right in. Oh, yeah. See, the front end dives, though, and then you hook up. Yeah. I feel like we're going to understeer right off the road and then it just hooks and slows down. You trail brake into those corners. You trail brake into it, yeah. Yeah, and then the rear end comes out, yeah. It just feels like you're not going to make the corner as a passenger. It's got lots of grip. Oh, yeah. Steer with the throttle. <laughs> Set the suspension. It's, it's got lots of grip to the... Who's in control, you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. For me, it's lots of grip. Man, this is a... Um, it's rare for me to be a passenger and really enjoy it. Look at all the crows! I know, there must be something dead here. Oh, yeah, this is a great... I hope you guys are enjoying the onboard video here. Just keeps going and going. Keeps going and going down the road, down the road. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you start to go, oh, here we go, splash. Okay, we got to jump. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, we'll get wet on this one if you smash all the cameras. <laughs> the wet. For, forget about the aerial nomad. Yeah. No nomad is going to do this. I mean, no, this I don't is the so. only. The, I mean, this is the only road the Nomad could go on as of what we've done, Yeah, just really. like this would be it, yeah. Yeah, this would be good for the Nomad, but I still don't... It's not going to survive these huge... It's still holes, not quite the same. Tiny left... Yeah, you get on the brakes, it sucks it in. Just sucks it in. Because then you get the... You start the brake, you trail brake, the weight goes on that front end, and it yeah, just turns. Yeah, push hard down, yeah. Yeah. It's like you got G-Force, huh? You got, like, some wing... You can put a big wig on there. Yeah, see, in a car, the suspension is too stiff. You would never get that dive. Yeah. 
Woo! Oh, look at the riverbed. It's dried up right here. You could be in oh, down it's really there. Oh, dried. That's weird. Splash. Wow, look at the clear cut. Holy shit. They took that out. We might see some deer in there. Oh, We're yeah. running across in front of us. Woo! This is beautiful road. Beautiful rally road. Nice and smooth. Lots of good turns. Oh, there's definitely somebody out here on something. Dirt bike, I think. Oh, we hit the rock. Yeah, you just missed it. Yeah, there's some uh, some some dirt bike tracks. Yeah, this would be fun on the dirt bike too. I could really like get sideways on the bike, like uh, Marquez yeah, drift, drift, style. Drift the like, bike, uh, yeah. Like circle track racing, right? Where you get sit forward on the bike and have the rear yeah, end dirt popping bike, out. Dirt, dirt track. That's good practice for the street biking. Oh, here's the cabin. <laughs> All right, well that ends the rally time. All right, it was a good set, man. Power. There we go. Woo. <laughs> there we go, let it cool down a little bit. Now we can get out Woo. of this thing. One buckle. The only thing crazier that I can think of on a bucket list item is jumping the Lady of the Lake ferry waves in that huge catamaran racing offshore boat. Oh, yeah, <laughs> San, yeah. San Bernardino's. Literally, yeah. you thought you were going to die in that thing. <laughs>